but taking those lessons from last year and uh, creating better systems for this year is helping us out. After a disastrous start to the last school year, JCPS leadership is hoping the first day of school in a couple of weeks will have fewer issues. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bowl. The school board provided an update on the key issues ahead of classes starting August 8th. Wave News reporter Logan Perone finds leadership feels good about the changes that have been made. Yeah, tonight, John, the board focused on two things, transportation and security. Now, a number of things are changing with the goal of starting the year strong. With just over two weeks out before school starts, JCPS officials are looking to redeem themselves after stumbling at the starting line last year. The first day is always hard, but I uh, feel really good about where we are at this point. The biggest issue facing Superintendent Dr. Marty Polio and the school board this year is transportation. A change from last school year, bus drivers day one routes will be set in stone on August 1st. And that was a strong recommendation was to make sure that um, we had a pause period so bus drivers knew their routes and were confident on that first day. Right now, JCPS has 561 drivers on 510 routes. 65% of those routes are being mirrored, meaning a driver will have the same route before and after school. Polio says this leaves the door open for restoring transportation services to some schools that lost routes. JCPS also provided an update on its transportation stipend system at Tuesday's meeting. It's $5 per day or $10 per day attended, and it's taxable income to the driver. The JCPS Police Department says it has 40 sworn officers and is looking to fill 15 vacancies. If you remember when we started a year ago, we had two SSOs and four recruits. All but one high school in the district has a weapon detection system installed. 23 middle schools are also scheduled to get them. School board members point to a decreased number of firearms recovered as a sign of success. It was nine during the day and then one for an extracurricular activity. So we went from 28 to 10 in a total of one year. Administrators believe changes will continue as they actively look to improve. Right now I'm feeling good. I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done. Now the district's updates today include a number of changes, including the timing and process of those stipends, camera systems on the buses, and more. We have those presentations linked on our website, wave3.com. Logan Perone, Wave News.